Now it's time to introduce your MEC Chair for 2011-2012, Tommy Delaney. Tommy is one of Mississippi's great family-owned business success stories. He opened Structural Steel Services at Meridian in 1975. He continues to grow his business even through difficult economic times, and today Structural Steel Services employs 375 fellow Mississippians. Tommy's leadership responsibilities in his hometown include serving on the board of directors for Meridian Community College, the Meridian Community College Foundation, the Riley Foundation, the Meridian Little Theater, Hope Village for Children, and the Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Center. I asked my friend, Mayor Sherry Berry, the mayor of Meridian, who today with a group of proud Meridian citizens is supporting Tommy here, to tell me about this favorite son. She said cleverly, Tommy Delaney is a man of steel with a heart of gold. Then she said simply, Tommy Delaney is Meridian. I don't think a citizen could ask for a more heartfelt summary of what he or she means to community than that. Tommy has one daughter, two grandchildren, and one great-grandchild. Next month, Tommy will be marrying the lovely and smart Rebecca Combs, Executive Director of the Phil Harden Foundation. Tommy, we realize that taking on the chairmanship of MEC will be at most the second most exciting thing you do this year. Please join me in welcoming your 2011-2012 MEC Chair, Tommy Delaney. Thank you, Jack, for those kind words. Uh, would you and Lisa please come forward for a moment? Jack's leadership marks two important milestones for MEC. He is the second generation MEC chair serving as his father Jack Sr. did back in the 60s. He is also the first mayor to serve as the MEC chair. During the past year, Jack has encouraged open and honest dialogue at MEC. As a result, our organization is much stronger. Under his leadership, MEC has been at the forefront in developing Mississippi blueprint. Blueprint Mississippi. Jack joined Blake on the recently completed MEC road tour, which gathered vital information all across the state from leaders to help Mississippi move forward. Today's luncheon to honor Governor Barber and celebrate Mississippi's heritage highlights the positive things happening in economic development. It also shows Jack understands the important role music plays in defining who we are in Mississippi. Now, while I brag on uh, our deep roots of country music in Meridian, of course the home of Jimmy Rogers as he mentioned. Uh, Jack gets all shook up when you mention Tupelo. <laughs> Jack, thank you for your leadership. Jack? Oh, okay. Jack, this is for your, for your serving and uh, we appreciate the job you've done and I hope I can do half as well. well you do more than that. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> Lisa, this is, this is for you helping Jack while he served and for assisting in that great retreat we had in November back in Tupelo. If you're ever in Tupelo and you're invited to go to the Ice House, be sure and go. <laughs> it was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa, we will also give a donation to the uh, Juvenile Diabetes Foundation in your honor. Thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize my friends and colleagues from Meridian, Lauderdale County, and I'm going to ask you if you would stand. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. I also want to thank my family and the employees of Structural Steel Services. Without their support, I would not be able to serve. I'm honored to become chair of MEC, especially at such an exciting time. For more than 60 years, MEC has worked to create a positive business climate 
and supported issues that improve the lives of all our citizens. In the next year, we will complete Blueprint Mississippi. This will create a roadmap of success for our, our state to move forward. However, to be truly successful, it will require a continued commitment from you, the business leaders of Mississippi. Only to work it together can we move Mississippi forward. I look forward to a great year working with Blake and the incredible staff he has at MEC. Thank you.